Before you start this video, I have two things. One, do not let this beanie distract you. Two, if you have not watched the LA Galaxy LAFC game from Saturday afternoon, stop what you're doing, go to MLS Live, get yourself a login. They are playing all games for free at the moment and watch it. It was the best Major League Soccer game I think I have watched in a long time. In their first ever matchup, LA Galaxy hosted LAFC in what Twitter dubbed El Trafico, where they played in Carson, California to a sellout crowd expecting newcomer to Major League Soccer Zlatan Ibrahimovic to play at some point during the game for Galaxy. Los Angeles, welcome to Zlatan. <laughs> LAFC goes up three to zero at the half. They are working Galaxy's defense. At one point during the second half, everyone started chanting for Zlatan. He'd been sitting on the bench this whole time. He flew into Los Angeles on Thursday night. He warmed up with them. It was expected that he was going to play. He comes on halfway through the second half and saves the freaking day. LA Galaxy goes up four to three. They end up winning with a Zlatan scored goal in stoppage time. Zlatan's clearly offside, scores a goal anyway, header right over David Bingham's head, and the crowd goes absolutely bonkers. In fact, once he stepped onto the field, it was almost as if the entire atmosphere was so determined to let LA Galaxy win. Two goals scored by him, and even Chris Pontius, former DC United player, got himself a goal. Chris Pontius and Perry Kitchen, both former DC United players, got to play alongside Zlatan, and I still can't even fathom that he exists in our league now. But here's the crazy thing about Zlatan Ibrahimovic. He is not your typical European signee. In fact, he's only getting the base salary of one and a half million dollars allotted to players like him in order to play for LA Galaxy for the next 18 months. Miguel Almiron from Atlanta gets paid more than Zlatan Ibrahimovic in this league. He is not a designated player, meaning he does not get paid millions and millions of dollars to play for LA Galaxy. DPs are players like David Beckham, David Villa, people whose salaries are paid above and beyond any cap and comes out of the pocket of the team. Each MLS team is allotted three DPs and LA Galaxy already had their three. The Dos Santos brothers who are both out with injury and Alessandrini. Zlatan is paid for with targeted allocation money which is given to all teams to buy down a player worth keeping but not in a designated player spot. Zlatan is here for the pure thrill of it. I understand it as an opportunity for him to come conquer the scene in Los Angeles. Angeles and enjoy himself in Major League Soccer, especially him being 36 years old. He had a terrible knee injury last year that kept him out of Manchester United's lineup. The entertainment factor alone has been so overwhelming. MLS Live is a place where I usually watch all replays of games, and they used to have something called a condensed match, which was basically every highlight, every goal back to back. For a game that ends in 4-3, that is the kind of rush that I live for. <laughs> Gay! It gives you just enough excitement and yet the comfort of knowing in the end you knew the outcome. El Trafico was not the only 4-3 game this weekend. Orlando City hosted New York Red Bulls and beat them 4-3 as well. What LA vs LA lacked in tradition, Orlando and New York made up for. We had back and forth, back and forth, Dwyer scoring and doing back flips. And in DC United news, they played Sporting Kansas City this weekend, their fifth game of the month, and they are currently 0-3-2. I have been to three of those games, Atlanta, here, and Columbus. And I I have traveled 2,670 miles to see DC United shit the bed on three separate occasions. DC United is not having a great start and honestly watching them on Saturday was a complete bummer. If you wanted to know the complete opposite of all the greatness the MLS had this weekend, look no further than DC United at Sporting Kansas City. Of the 11 games played this weekend, there were six teams that scored in the first 10 minutes of the game, but there was only one team that scored in the first three minutes. That was Sporting Kansas City on DC after Frederick Briand, French defender, nutmegged himself to kick it past our goalie. And we spent the entire game unsuccessfully trying to make up for it. The only good thing about that game was I got to go see it with my good friend Becca who came to town from DC and I got an Icopara bobblehead. This is to commemorate last year's bicycle kick that Icopara had. Icopara is on side here with the Nothing that Ico Parra can't do! 
What did DC United do to commemorate an Ico Para bobblehead? Well, they tried their own bicycle kick. feel bad for Paul Ariola. Oh, this is the first clean sheet that Kansas City had this year. DC United does not have a game this weekend because Toronto is resting between its two semifinal CONCACAF Champions League games against Club America. I've got my fingers crossed that DC will get better as time goes on. I'm not disappointed in the fact that I got this bobblehead though. Oh, I forgot. I also saw Graham Zusi for the first time since he cut off his man bun. I also got a Roku and now I can watch MLS on my TV. <laughs> I feel like I've been waiting for this moment my whole life. Oops, spoilers, spoilers. I was at this game. I was also at this game. No, I do not want to watch a replay. All my Kansas City friends we're so excited to see that Kansas City was playing LA now that Zlatan is with Galaxy, and then they realized that it is in LA. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please be sure to give it a like and subscribe. And until next time, peace, love, and soccer. Good night.